Hey everyone, and welcome back to Diagnox Health, your go-to source for important health tips, testing, and information. Today, we're diving into a topic that many of us are familiar with, but probably don't talk about, mucus in your urine. So if you've ever wondered what those mysterious white threads at the bottom of the toilet bowl mean, stick around because we're going to tell you all about it. But before we do, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our health updates. Let's jump right in. Now, we all know mucus from those pesky colds, but did you know it can also show up in your urine? Yep, it's true. Your bladder and urethra have membranes that produce mucus to keep things nice and lubricated down there. It's an important job. So if you see a small amount of mucus in your pee, don't panic, it's normal. But here's the deal. When the mucus production goes into overdrive, it can end up creating these stringy threads that hang out at the bottom of the toilet bowl after you do your business. And that's when it might be time to pay attention. So you might be wondering, why should I care about mucus in my pee? Well, it turns out it can be a red flag for some health issues. Too much mucus might be signaling a urinary tract infection or UTI, which is a fairly common health problem that you don't want to ignore but it doesn't stop there. Mucus in your urine could also be a hint of things like chlamydia, gonorrhea, kidney stones, or in rare cases, bladder cancer. Now, of course, this sounds alarming, but stay with me because we've got a solution. Now, the big question is, how do you know if it's time to see a doctor? Well, that's where a urinalysis comes in. It's basically a fancy term for testing your pee, and it's a piece of cake. You just need to grab a specimen cup and collect a sample. They usually prefer you to do it first thing in the morning for a more concentrated analysis. There are three types of urine tests that can help you figure out what's going on down there. First up, we've got the visual exam. They check the color, clearness, and look for any blood or foam. Then there's the dipstick test, a thin plastic stick dipped into your urine that changes color if certain chemicals are present. Finally, the microscopic exam, where professionals look at a tiny bit of your urine under a microscope for things that escape the naked eye. Now, if you're the DIY type, there are urine test strips and home tests available. They won't replace a professional opinion, but they can give you some peace of mind. So to wrap things up, those white thread-like structures in your urine might be trying to tell you something. A urinalysis is the key to decoding what's going on. So don't shy away from it or wait longer than you need to. Excess mucus in your pee could be a sign of various health issues like a UTI, STIs, or kidney stones. Remember, if you're experiencing pain, frequent urges to pee, lower abdominal pain, or blood in your urine, it's time to get it checked out. Stay informed, stay healthy, and if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends because you never know who might need this info. Until next time, this is Crystal signing off from Diagnox Health. Take care and stay well.